everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Letty and this is Letty Sparkle. Um, so, in today's video I kind of didn't really know what I wanted to do, I just kind of wanted to get ready basically and just chat to you guys. Um, I've been away for a couple of weeks, I've not posted anything, just mainly because it's been summer holidays. So I've not moved an office the last two and a half weeks, so I've just gone back to work, kids are back at school now, so back to normality. So I just wanted to really film, sit down and get ready with you. Uh, sorry about the background, but I've got furniture on that side there, which you can just about see in the mirror. It's just because we're having the second room next to this one done, so all the furniture's in here at the moment, so we can then put it back in there once it's done, so that will be going, I'll be going to my normal background over there. But for today I just had to do this, otherwise I wasn't going to be able to film, so... I'm just gonna, I've already primed my face with the usual Avant um, Pro Collagen, um, Pro Perfecting Collagen Primer. So I'm gonna be using, I was a bit confused, I've got three palettes out and I don't know which one to use really. I kind of wanted to do something basic but colourful if that makes sense. So I don't really know what to do. So I think I'm gonna use the Ivan Decay Born to Run palette. I do like this palette. Um, it's very messy my one because it's very loved and very used. So I might do, I'm feeling kind of autumn vibes because obviously it's September now and I'm kind of feeling that. So I'm just going to go in, bring all my brushes here and go in with that. I mean if you like this background let me know and obviously I'll start filming a bit more to this side um, with the mirror lights and everything behind me but let me know what you think. Set my, um, I'm just going to use as a primer for my eyes a concealer. This is just the Conceal and Hydrate one. I'm just going to do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. So the eyebrows are done. So I'm kind of going to try and go for like an everyday kind of look. So let's go in with Riff, which is just this shade here. On a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to kind of go on my crease. I'm just going to bring it a bit closer. But yeah, some of my hollows have just been and gone. The S has gone into year 5, Code has gone into reception, which is just like mad. I can't believe he's old enough to go to school. Um, but yeah, it's very cute, it's beautiful. So I'm going to try and get like a schedule so when I know when I'm filming and stuff so I can get more of a, I want to ideally upload Wednesdays, Mondays and Fridays but obviously that last couple of weeks that's not worked. Um, just comment down below if you've got any ideas of videos you want to see or any products you want me to try. The Makeup Revolution Foundation one did really really well so I was thinking of doing maybe a like half of Makeup Revolution and half of like a higher brand or high end or maybe drugstore and high end. I've seen loads of those around, but I do think they are really good and I really like watching them. So if it's something that you want me to try, then comment down below or give this video a thumbs up so I know if it's something you want to see. That would be great. And obviously, please subscribe if you want to so you don't miss any of my future videos. Um, probably going to do a film, a video of my favourites in a minute once I've film finished, filmed finished, finished filming this. Um, and then I'm going to go in with. I don't know if it's meant to be Baja or Badger, but that one there, it's like an orangey shade. I'm going to go in with like a smaller, this is a Real Techniques um, base shadow brush. I'm just going to kind of go in with that shade there in my like inner crease. like a smaller kind of angled brush like this, it's actually not a smaller brush but it's an angled brush. This is an MSQ one, hasn't got a name on it. I'm just going to pop that into the dark brown here which is called Punk. I'm just going to kind of pop that on my outer corner. Just kind of pat it in and then blend it. 
kind of dissolved a little bit. I'm just going to go back in with that fluffy brush and just kind of blend that out. Just in circular motions. So I've got, I'm really excited because I've got a, um, I'm going on a makeup course on Monday. Just for the day. Um, it's a three day course but you can do um, day one, day two or day three. I think to do, do day three you have to do either day one or day two. So I'm doing day one. And it's um, for a flawless face, so I'm really looking forward to that one. The other two was, the second one was eyes. And then the third day is all about like Instagram style makeup. So I kind of, the thing I need the most is base really, so that's what I've chosen. So I'm really, really excited about that. I've got that on Monday. So I'll probably do a video of how I got on and stuff. And that one up. And then my next look will be a colourful look when I next film so I might try and film something on I was going to film last night but I was so so tired that I just didn't have anything in me to film this palette is like one of my favourite palettes I think of all time but it is more for like I think it's like an autumn-y Christmassy kind of palette where it's got the greens and everything um, I actually wore the pink like the other day because I went to a horse racing thing and that was quite nice. So I'm going to take, I'm not going to cut my crease, I'm going to take a flat brush like this. This is a profusion blush. And I'm just going to go in with the Accelerate colour which is the reddish colour or terracotta really, like sparkly one there. And I'm just going to go in with this one, like in the like middle, going kind of towards the end. So what I've done, I've used half of the brush for that reddish colour or orangey colour and the other half of the goldy kind of bronzy colour. So um, what I'm doing is when I'm putting the lighter colour in and then just switching back to the other side to blend out the orange, the orange colour, the like more orange toned. It kind of all just blends into one to be fair, so it's not like looking it's too bad. And then back with this big fluffy brush, just kind of, kind of blend that all out. Mm. So it's very a coppery, kind of bronzy, orangey kind of colour. So back in with the Accelerate shade. This is a brilliant palette to travel with. I just went on holiday um, to Somerset in in England. Um, um, oh, that's not the right brush. This one. Um, I know they look the same, but I can tell. <laughs> I'm just blowing that all out. So I kind of didn't want to do like a proper cut crease or half a cut crease or anything. So I kind of think I like how it all looks really blended. And I'm just going to go back in. I'm going to go with that kind of still hot shade, just like a it's a bit of a like peachy kind of shade, but I think it will look quite nice yeah, on the edge here, just to blend that all out. Up to my brow. And a little bit of the um, weekend shade, which is like a very... And then, with like a smaller, denser brush, hmm, brush. Um, something like this, it's quite a small, like very, it's not a precise brush, but I'm going to go back in with that punk shade, that dark brown, and just pop a little bit more of that in my outer B, just to darken it up and give it a bit more definition. So I'm just kind of patting it in place. I'm not going to like really blend it out as much and then go back in with the fluffy brush and just kind of blend up really really high up here so I'm not really going onto my lid space just to kind of make sure there's no like harsh lines or anything okay so it's quite full on it looks I always think my makeup looks odd when it's just the eyes it will look okay once the make when the face is all done so I'm just going to go on my face now and then I'll come back to my under eyes in a moment 
So for my foundation, I'm going to be using, surprise, surprise, the Born This Way um, Too Faced foundation. And this is in the shade Sand and the concealer's in light beige. So I really, really like this foundation and I haven't wet my sponge. How annoying is that? So I'm going to go and wet my sponge now and I'll be right back. My sponge is wet so I'm just going to go in with the Too Faced foundation. So this one I show at the moment is one of the only ones that actually um, is in my current shade. So, but I really, really like it. I've not got many products from Too Faced. I think the only two products I've got actually is this two. And I have tried the Better Than Sex foundation. Not foundation, Better Than Sex um, mascara, sorry. And I do really like that. Almost bring it down your neck. And this foundation, you can kind of leave it, it's kind of medium coverage, and then you can build it up. I'm going to leave it like this, don't you know? I think it's good enough as it is, and I really like to like pat it into my skin so it gets really put in. So you can still see like all my moles, well you can't see actually on the camera I don't think, but I've still got my moles there and there. It just kind of gives you an even tone which I really like. And it lasts a long, long time. So yeah. And then, there's a little bit more actually so I'm just going to go put a bit more on my cheeks. So I'm not necessarily a very heavy contour kind of person. I do a little bit, but I don't really know it, so that's what I'm hoping to learn with my course on Monday, is how to contour. I mean, I know the basics, but you know, when it comes to like, actually contour, like I don't do the whole highlight, then contour, and then blend all in together, and it looks magical. <laughs> I do go in with my concealer, and then I go in with my, um, and with this concealer, a little goes a long, long way. So I actually think I've put a bit too much already. This concealer is lighter than my foundation because I just prefer that. I think it gives me a bit more shape. But I always find as well, no matter what I do, my face looks really, I mean, I've got a round face, but my face looks really, really round. So I've got to really sit down and play with the makeup to try and see if I can change my face shape. You know, I'm not a professional makeup artist. I really want to be. And I'm okay, you know, I'm good. I quite like where my skill level is at at the moment, but it could be better. It could be, you know, you can always improve on your skills. You're never gonna have enough skills, I don't think. So I always want to work on them. And I straight away pretty much will set my under eyes just because I don't want um, them to crease. So, and you know, I'm 34 years of age. There's always creasing. <laughs> So I like this little brush. This is a setting brush from Real Techniques. This is the Laura Mercier. This powder is amazing. Um, I do really like it. I'm just gonna get my under eyes. I don't know why I have just got my mirror now. But yeah, so I don't gonna bake or anything. I'm just gonna set that just under the eyes. Just literally in like a really rich shape here. Just literally the concealer. I don't wanna set anything else. It's just to stop any creasing. Okay. So I like how that looks at the moment. So, this powder is worth, it's £29 to buy, and I think, well, I don't think, I know it's worth every single penny. I've had it for like two months, maybe three, I don't know, maybe two to three months, and I've, it's just awful. Like, I've used it, and I use it whenever I do my makeup. I mean, I don't use makeup every day. Um, but when I use it, I will set my underwear with that. Unless I'm doing like a drugstore makeup, then I won't obviously use it because it's not a drugstore. For contour today, I'm going to use this um, palette, which is the Revolution Pro Conceal Kit. And I like this shade to, um, to contour with. It's a Luxie small contouring brush. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that here. And then. Oh, it's not really showing up, I think it's coming out. 
It's not really coming out, hang on. Oh, I'm gonna use this brush, it's like a little makeup revolution. I am a little bit concerned though, because I lost the email. I didn't lose it, I had this brain wave the other day of deleting all my emails. And I thought I'd save this one, and I didn't for the course on Monday. So I'm just gonna go in, this is actually a bit too much. This brush is brilliant for powder. Oh cream contour I prefer like a more denser brush like this one this is the Real Techniques sculpting brush and because it's like shaped like this you can really get in there and blend it in I think that's the trick with contour if you're gonna do a cream contour which I don't do very often you have to um blend it in with like a dense brush because the kind of more fluffy brushes don't really work um, so I always get scared I overdo it and then it doesn't look like anything and then because of the lights in here I can't always tell like this side always looks more pronounced than this side I don't know And then I've got like this stuff chin at the moment. I have put a little bit of weight over the summer as we all do. And I was gonna go to the gym this morning. But um I forgot that I booked my um laser. I'm having laser uh hair removal. <laughs> laser, I'm having laser. Hair, laser hair removal. Um I kinda started with my lip, I've done my underarms and I'm doing my bikini area now. So that's kind of on its way, and um, it's incredible. Like my lip, I still get a few little bits of hair, but you can get that done, like as and when you need it. So I might do it next month. Um, my underarms are amazing. I shave them. Um, I don't even know when I shave them now, to be honest. I just do it when I've got a couple of. I've got like I've had, I think five, five treatments of it. Um, so um, they normally say I don't know how many. They say that obviously dark hair is really good for laser because. It's um, the pigment, you need strong pigment on it, so long hairs aren't so good. But yeah, that's my story for now, <laughs> and uh, I'll keep you updated with the laser, but um, if you want to know more information, let me know, and I might do a video dedicated to it, if you're in interested. But um, so far, I'm really, like, really, really pleased with my results, and I'd recommend it for it to anyone. So, I'm going to go in with the Bare Minerals um, Contour Palette in this shade, in this shade, and then I'm going to blend in with this one. So just to kind of... Set my contour in place. And then I'm gonna go in with the like bronzer shade. I'm gonna kind of take it like a bit higher. I'm trying to be like through with it. It always seems more natural from my makeup on this side than this side because obviously I'm right handed, I think. A bit annoying. Uh, blush, oh, blush, I didn't get blush out. Might go for a bit of gold rush by Benefit. This is only like a sample size one. But it's very like everyday ish. It's just a very soft, like goldy, peachy kind of colour. Um, it smells really good. It smells, um, I don't know what, but it smells really good. <laughs> Is it the same what it smells of? Almost like a very light perfume, like it's fragrance. I don't mind fragrance and stuff. I mean, to be fair, once it's on you, you can't smell it, so. And for blushes, you just want just kind of. I never think I put enough blush on because I always worry that once you've put too much on you can't then remove it. And I always blend it into the rest of my like contour bronzing kind of situation. Cause I just think, just to kind of, you know, you know, my friends always go, oh, how do you like, you know, do it so well and all this and that. It's, you know, it's just practice and time. And I think, I think someone said to me once, um, or I saw in a video, 
I can't remember, or I heard it somewhere, that always apply less than what you think you need because you can always add more, but you can't take it off. So that's what I kind of do. So I always start really, really small and then I keep going. <laughs> so I don't think you can even see this. You can just see the glow. It's very, it's like a really, really glowy kind of, you can't really see it. It's very, very light. Well, you can't really see it. It's like a very light pink. You can just about see it like there. But it's not very... I think I might need a bit more of something. So because my eyes are quite orangey, like orangey toned, I'm gonna go in with like a peach blush. This is again from Benefit. This is again a sample size. This is California. This doesn't smell of anything. Mm. I think it used to, but where I've used it so much, this one's a lot more pig pig uh, pigmented. Like, you can see that. I don't know if you can see that straight away, but it is more pigmented than the other one. You can see that more. So, yeah, you can see that straight away. <laughs> that's like I say, a little. By little, and then you can add more if you need to. And then I think that's a bit too much now. I think that's a normal amount for pe most people, but because I'm not like an incredible blush fan, and then if I put too much on what I do, I go within a clean brush. It can be any brush. I like angle brushes to be honest for blush. Like some people prefer like a denser brush for blush. I prefer something like this because you can apply a little bit less on, and then you can just flush out. And I think that looks okay actually. I love how my under eyes look. Like just, it looks better on the camera than doing real life to be fair, but I, that's just the way it is. <laughs> um, and then for highlight, I have been loving this Lion King highlighter from Primark. This was only five pound and you get four shades. Um, so I'll get my fun brush and then I'm gonna go in with, um, I don't know which shade to go in with. Oh, that's so pretty. So pigmented. I think I might go in with a warmer shade, which is this one here, which is that one. The other one was this like goldy one here. This is that one. It's just slightly more bronzy. I mean, look at that. So pretty. A little bit on my nose. I always do the tip. I oh, don't know, I do. I don't contour my nose because I have a very small nose as it is um, for my face. I've got quite a brown face and I think if I contour it, my nose will just disappear. So um, that's why I don't contour my nose. And I'm sure there's probably people that say, oh, you probably need it or whatever, but I don't think I do. And where it's so small, I don't even think I could do it properly, if that makes sense. So I always put a little bit of my cupid's bow and a little bit on my chin. And then I will just go back in with that angle brush that I used to kind of blend it all out. And then with like a pencil brush, I'm just going to go in actually. And I'm going to use this kind of, this is a Real Techniques Rebel Edge Fine brush. It's very cute. I'm just going to go in with that shade and kind of do it on my brow bone. And with my brow bun, I only highlight it in the middle bit. I don't take it as low as this just because you want it to be like center, you don't want it to drag down so it brings your face down. That's what I heard anyway. <laughs> I could be completely wrong. Um, so I'm just going to go back in with my under eyes now. Back in with the palette. And I'm going to go in with that um, BFF, oh, BFF, Riff shade, that one I used first in my crease. And I'm going to go in with um, a kind of small, this my small angle brush down All my brushes are really dirty, I need to clean them, so I'll probably do that tomorrow. They will need to be cleaned ready for Monday. So the kind of this is a Real Techniques sh shading brush. 
I'm gonna go into ref and kind of just bring it underneath kind of three quarters of the way out we've got to pick up Cody from school today at one o'clock um, because he's doing half days this week and then from next week he will go full time which is terrifying in a good way I want him to obviously to go to school and stuff and be happy and whatever but yeah it's a bit scary that he's already going full time next week so terrifying and then I'm going to go in with that Baja or Badger or Beja or Beha I don't know how to pronounce it with that same brush and I'm just going to be I'm just going to bring it in the same sort of so this eye looks straight you see and this eye does not it's really really annoying Mm, that's a bit better. I'm gonna blend that out in a minute. And then I'm gonna go in with a slightly fluffier kind of brush. Like this. This is a Real Techniques Essentials Crease Brush. I'm just gonna clean off the excess and go back in with that Riff shade and just kind of blend it out a little bit more on both sides just so that it's not so like rigid. And then with a more precise brush like this one, this is actually a Morphe M213 and I'm going to go in with the shade Accelerate first, actually yeah, on one side and I'm going to put that in like in the middle bit here, so just there and then blend it in with what I've already done and then with the shade Ignite which is all that one there I'm going to go in on the other side of the brush and I'm going to go in in the inner corner and kind of bring it all the way in and then I'll highlight that in a minute like so and do the same on this side like so and then I might go in with the highlight from this palette the same one that I used with that same brush and just kind of place that in the actual middle in my inner corner for my tears up as they call it just to brighten it up and open up my eyes so I'd say so that's that done um, do I need liner? it looks really nice mm. liner, no liner, liner, no liner so with Mac Give Me Sun, I've got this kind of bright, it's like a um, mineral skin finish but I really like it for bronzing. I'm going to take like a bigger of a fluff, fluffier brush, this is the Real Techniques Multitask brush. I'm just going to put a little bit on there and just bronze up with it. Just to warm it up a little bit. Do you think it's looking a bit too like cool toned? And considering the eyes are so like warm. Yeah, I think that looks better. Okay. So that's that done. So I'm just gonna pop some eyeliner and mascara on and I'll be right back. So that's my mascara done. So I've just kind of I've decided against the eyeliner. I think my eyes look pretty enough as it is without the eyeliner. I kind of sometimes like the smoky eye look and stuff. So for lips, I did want to use my Huda Beauty um, lip contour in Flirt, but I can't find a sharpener. I think it's in my bedroom and I don't want to go and get it. So I'm going to use MAC Well instead, just kind of a more mauvey pink lip colour, whereas the, there's the difference between the two shades. So that one is a bit more cool toned, grey brownish type of colour, and that's the more mauvey pink, just one I'm going to go with. This it's probably mine are my favourite lip liners. I do overdraw my lip, bottom lip a little bit. And I fill in the rest of it. My top lip, I don't like to overdraw too, too much. I literally do a tiny bit. And then half the time. 
I do it slightly wrong, then I have to go over it, and then I have to take it off. It's a nightmare. Now, I've not really done a lot to my skin this summer. As in, like, skincare-wise. I mean, I wash it and I moisturise it, and that's about it. I've not done a mask or anything in ages, so I might do deep exfoliation and a mask and something. Is that something that you guys want to see? I mean, I'm not, I don't have a religious skincare routine, so I don't... Which I should, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It's a bad thing that I don't do it. Um, but I want to try, as I'm getting older, to try and do more. So if you do want me to try and show you what I do, um, I'm not a skincare, skincare expert in any way. But if you want to see what I do and how I look after my skin, then let me know below and I'll do that video as well. Um, and then fill on top of that, I might go in with the Colourpop Villains, Hades, which is like a peachy shade, which I think actually with the eyes, it will look really nice. This shade on its own, I don't really like, because it's too light. But on top of another one, I quite like it. Oh, I do like that. And then what I'll do, I'll go back in with this one and just kind of put a bit more in the outer corners. Just to kind of make it a bit more like ombre type and a bit warmer. Not warmer, that's the wrong word. Um, I don't know, I like how it looks like this. So that's kind of all done. I'm going to go in with a bit of a mix. Mix. MAC Fix Plus. Um, I'm kind of nearly at the end and I've almost got my six products to go and change them for a lipstick. And I might get above a teddy again, I don't know. I was meant to set my face and I just remembered. Great stuff. Well, so that's just drying. It's gonna look like ultra glam for the um, school run. That's the finished look. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna bring it a bit closer so you can see the eyes. So that's, actually, I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit. About that, let me just brush my eyebrow hairs up because they've all moved. I need to get a really good eyebrow setting gel. So if you do know one, please let me know. And I've just noticed I've missed a massive chunk of my eyebrow there. So just two seconds. Uh, my eyebrows aren't the same, they never are. So if you want um, symmetrical eyebrows, don't come to this. <laughs> don't come to my channel. Um, so that's the eyes. So that's a uh, finished look on the eyes. Yeah, I need to work on my brows, but I've just, I don't know. Nothing that I do seems to ever work. So, and that's the finished look. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Just a little get ready with me, nothing major or anything. And yes, I'm glad to be back. I'm excited for the next few weeks. Got a few videos in mind that I'm gonna do anyway. Um, so if you wanna see my future videos and please do not do not subscribe, no, please do subscribe. <laughs> I was gonna say do not forget to subscribe and it came out completely wrong. Um, subscribe to my channel, please give this a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and comment down below any requests that you have or any products you want to try. Um, and if I can, then I will. Uh, yes, I'll see you in my next one. Thank you, bye-bye.